guys black i can't even get my words together if i was ever a shoe i would be this one oh 10 out of 10 recommend all of them maybe except the white canvas one hey guys welcome or welcome back to my channel for those who are tuning in for the first time hello my name is kimmy and for today's video i'll be sharing with you my biggest shoe haul ever a few weeks ago i did my biggest closet declutter if you guys haven't checked that video i'll leave it down in the description box and up on your screen for you guys to check it out over on that video i did manage to declutter about 24 or 25 pairs of shoes and in front of me, I have about 18 pairs of shoes. Oh, and I'm wearing one pair. And there's one outside. So I have about 20 pairs of shoes in front of me that I am going to share with you guys. All of these shoes were purchased from Boohoo. Without any further ado, let's get this video started. So Boohoo does deliver to Tanzania in case you're wondering but all of these goods that I'm going to show you today were actually delivered to the US but if you like any of these goodies Boohoo does deliver worldwide. Boohoo is an online fashion retailer that sells a lot of things from shoes to accessories to clothes you name it. I'm looking down because I can see all the shoes that I am working with and for today's haul it is very practical for me because I bought shoes that I know I would wear. Given my last declutter I had just started buying shoes that have never been worn so I told myself you're not gonna make the same mistake twice I did buy everything blindly I will tell you there was a bit of reviews but for the most part I just went with my gut and I knew my size the only thing you have to know there's a difference between a US size and a UK size in terms of shoes when you see the number five six and seven that's a UK way of sizing shoes and then you have the 38 37 30 something that's a US way of sizing shoes I'm also gonna put a cut out for you guys to see how they actually fit me the pricings will also go on top I don't remember them off head I'm gonna start with sandals work my way into flats uh, sneakers heels then boots so that we all have the category for the majority of things they all fit me except for one pair that seemed a bit flimsy but I bought everything like blindly online in case you want to do this this is a disclaimer do this on your own don't say Kimi told you Kimi told you nothing so to start out i have this pair of everyday sandals this i'm just gonna wear them when i'm running errands or inside the house they're quite light i just needed something that i can actually wear like a maxi dress at the beach this is what i was thinking or just running simple errands like going to the supermarket without them being slippers but to have a slipper feel i hope that makes sense i have this one with a tan base and black straps and i love them so much that i needed something the same color but i needed it in brown and then these ones are giving me more of a nudie feel so if i have like a black outfit and whatnot i could always pair it with this and then if i have something like white or nudie or ethiton I can always pair up with this. I will leave the prices of the goods on the screen and if you want to buy the same exact thing, I will leave the link down in the description box below. Um, next up, I have this leather woven ballet shoes. I freaking love them. I'm still finding a way on how to style them because I think this is like a wide fit. This is the hole that I was talking about in the beginning, which I kind of said I am not entirely sure. In person, they look pretty. On my leg, they look kind of funny. I don't know if it's just me or the clothing that I wore with the other day, but I'm gonna try them, give them a second chance, try them, see how they fit. But I wanted to style this with like a pair of like denim shorts or jeans and a white, like a linen shirt for some easy dressed up casual look so you have these ones from boohoo.com next up i have this pair of classic black ballerina shoes this i've already worn them to work this week i've worn them twice to work because i needed an everyday black shoe for work and this fit the profile when i'm wearing like my straight legged pants and i don't want to be bothered to wear heels but still want to look put together and ready to run errands at work i can wear this you can pair this with tailored pants a shirt and a blazer and you're good to go you still look classy you look, still look sophisticated they're quite comfortable i'll be honest with you they have a sword finish on it which is good if you do not have dogs but if you have dogs there's gonna be a bit of hair caught in the wax so just just like a side note on that another pair of ballerina flats is this one I freaking love this these have like a four crocodile skin they are so light and they have this like gold buckle on it that it just gives it a more dressy vibe than the other ballerina shoes which was just like a plain black sweat I freaking love them for days where I am not also bothered to wear heels but I want to like really look put together and chic I will definitely reach out for these shoes 
in my tech i can mostly wear this with all my tailored pants and then this is giving me more of a loafer feel because of the suede texture so that means i can also incorporate this with some jeans but i will not necessarily wear this with jeans i hope that makes sense and why i bought the two even though they have the same style and everything up next i have a pair of all white sneakers uh, this ones they have this canvas material on them I was not very excited about this shoe. I mean, the sole feels quite steady and nice and great quality. I expected more cloth than canvas when it came to this shoe. So this I'll give it like a seven. I'm still gonna wear it, but I'll give it at seven. This did not surpass my expectation whatsoever. It's giving me more of white vibe than actual white, but it is white in person. It's just not doing a lot for me. So there's this pair of shoe. I can wear this with an all black look like the one I'm wearing with this. I can also pair it up with an all white look. I can wear it with a suit, like a black suit. I can still like give it a street vibe or street style chic kind of vibe by pairing it with an all white sneaker like this. I can wear this with a pair of denims. I can pair this with shorts. I can pair this with a little black dress or a little white dress or a little gray dress. Can I continue? Are you sensing the versatility of these shoes? If there's ever a pair in your shoe closet that you definitely have to invest and invest hard is a pair of white sneakers. This is a holy grail of shoes. Okay, this and all the other ones I'm going to mention. But in case you guys are interested, I can also do a video for all the types of shoes that a lady or a woman needs to have in her closet. That seems interesting. I think I'll do that video. Video. But just my luck, when I was very disappointed with this white dress, I was not very disappointed. They just didn't give me the oomph that I was looking for in a shoe. I found them in these white shoes. Oh my goodness. These shoes are perfect. They have your typical tan brown leather lapel on the back. It looks so good. And then these are easy to clean because this is not a cloth. It has one of those four leather vibe on them. These are my more dressy white trainers. These are the ones I bring out when it's time to party or there's an actual occasion. I mean, I'm gonna wear them every day, but I'm giving you the vibe that they were giving me. They have a, like a signature me here. It is so subtle and it just says woman, one word. So this look like so. Totally love them, totally gonna dress them to bits. And in case you didn't know, I'm a sneaker head. So this, these are right in my books. Up next is a pair of running shoes. They look better than they were in the video. And honestly, I don't think I wanna wear them as running shoes because they are very sturdy and the heel is a tad heavier. Unless I wanna run with the expectation of running with weights, then these are my go-to. But they're like knitted. They have this knitted feel on top and then they have like a very rubbery sole on them, which means I think it will give you like a cushion for you to run on. So you have them in this color and I'm pretty Pretty sure these are the most expensive pair of running shoes I've ever bought with my own money so I don't also think I want to make them running shoes but they look so nice that I ended up buying them you guessed it in black and the black ones look like so you have the black ones over here and the gray ones over here and I'm glad I bought different version I wanted the white version but they didn't have an all white version so the gray was the second best alternative all of them are size 35 and in my books this is 10 over 10 are you kidding me the the knit is a very light feel that means it's very breathable in case you want to wear them to the gym or run or you want to do errands girl do you cue in boots boots i have been searching high and low for a good quality pair of chelsea boots i had my first pair of boots i've had a couple of boots in my life but i've only had one pair of a good quality chelsea boots and god knows i wore that shoe to pieces so when i saw this variation of the chelsea boots it is flat that means it will go with absolutely everything that i own and i know i live in there leave me alone it is the hottest place in tanzania to ever own let alone wear a pair of boots but you know me i'm gonna wear them i am gonna wear them with a sweater i do not care we have some rainy seasons and that's what i have in mind i'm gonna like style them so hard <sighs> i'm getting ahead of myself so you so like a turtleneck black bodysuit tucked into some skinny jeans that are rolled on and then there's a bit of skin showing between the jeans and the boots and then you, you have like a blazer on top it's just raining for a bit. I know in Dai it doesn't rain much, but with just that a bit of rain and then you style it like that, 
maybe with like a black panama hat some black sunglasses and let's do like a red lipstick are you getting the vibe i'm glad i have them because it's an investment in my books i also got shield boots though so in case we are still thinking like who buys boots in that i kimi kimi does this have like a side zipper on the side and then they have a buckle detail over here a golden detailing bit over here on the inside they are very padded i freaking love them this is a 10 over 10 i will highly recommend i'm gonna leave them down in the description box and also the price is gonna be on the screen guys guys uh, if i was ever a shoe i will be this one classic comfy doesn't take shit structured and just screams do not mess with me this is all the words i'm getting from these shoes like are you kidding me look at this beauty it is a heeled boot but it's a wide heel and they're very comfortable the distance from the heel to tip of the leg isn't so much to a point that it's uncomfortable you know like your feet is arcing that direction it is not a, i mean look at that cutway go through incredible same feel with the other chelsea boots so i decided to get a more dressy heel this one has like a six inch from this side and from an angle it's like five and a half uh, I needed a heel boot for situations where I needed a more dressed up look without doing the most and I went for a super structured heel look there's no much detailing to them they just have like an elastic side over here with a zip look so picture me this like what I'm wearing right now would work so well with these boots tuck the legs of the leotard in here throw over a leather jacket and i have like an imaginary motorbike waiting for me outside that i can just like drive off this is what this is giving me alternatively you can also wear this with like a little black dress to give you a feminine look a more structure and put together look without being the very most um this is more a rounded boot and then this is more of a pointy toe speaking of pointy toes i do have some pointy toes uh, strappy heel sandals over here and they look like this a cheater did somebody say i have no excuse for getting these shoes this is one of those impulse purchase kind of thing i freaking love these shoes and the fact that you can wear them with anything white or anything black or anything gray and you can still get away with them i freaking love it like how i am right now i could pair this and i'm ready to go i could be wearing an all white and pair this and i'm ready to go i could be wearing an all tan and pair this and i'm ready to go are you are you seeing this it's easy for a strap heel to elevate a look without even doing the most you could be wearing a t-shirt literally just like an oversized t-shirt you throw in some white sneakers and it's a cool casual girl street style edgy look you pair in with some strappy style sandals and it is hi who are you hi kimi nice to meet you <laughs> anyways that's on that next up i have my first ever square heeled shoe let me show you this one's this i'm not gonna say this is actually my style per se but they look really really good on me to a point that i was like why has it not been my style ever these are very fun and comfortable heels my goodness and i've always been looking for a white strappy heel so this one comes with one of those tie around straps but this is not like the high strippery one this is just like cute and decent and girly and then you have like a slipper situation happening over here with a square front i get this square trend now that i'm looking at it but before i would not have gone out of my way to get this it has like a four crocodile leather over here with like a tan sole so all white looks pair it with this you eat the whole look a whole brown look you pair with this and you eat the whole look leaving no crumbs it is timeless it is classic it is clean it screams money like this is like a money shoe right here anyways i will come down another version of a square toe is this barely their black strappy heel sandal same vibes very comfortable i can run in them i haven't owned a black strappy sandal in a minute until i found this and i get it i get why i haven't owned one in a minute because i was waiting for this one exactly this one this is an incredible shoe also 10 out of 10 i would recommend 
and in case you didn't catch the trend every girl needs to have a strappy heel sandal in their closet you can have it in black you can have it in nude you can have it in white or oh, hell you can have it in all the colors you like it's giving me girly it's giving me flirty it's giving me like I'm um, fun but I can also you can you just don't play with me vibe and that's kind of the shoe you want so you have this I have two pairs of identical shoes left with me over here like forget all the shoes you saw these are the highlight of my purchase the goddess of shoes I have this strappy heel with like like a scrunchy strap over here these shoes look incredible they feel incredible they elevate you in ways you are like so you have this pair of strappy sandals and I was very conflicted. I liked my shoe to look like this. See the difference? Like this is more like a thin ending. I am not a person who likes thick heels. I don't know why. I wore this and I'm like, you guys have been wearing these thick heels without telling me all this time. Like, how are we friends? These shoes feel so good. They are very comfortable. I freaking love them like if you you're looking for a shoe to buy in this haul start with this or maybe not this the ones that I'm gonna show you but same design you know this if I could find a brown version of this I will take I will fight somebody to get them but they weren't there so they only had them in like two colors these shoes are beautiful I wore this one with an LBD there's gonna be pictures popping on the screen for you guys to see how I style them they are an accessory on its own some shoes can just not do the most but this this did the most for me I freaking love them fine they have a silver zip in the back and they fit like a glove and this is the last of it oh 10 out of 10 recommend all of them Maybe except the white canvas one. That one buy on your own accord. This was an amazing haul. Um, and there you have it guys. I had the most fun trying these shoes, sharing them with you, sharing my two cents about them. You do not need to get them. I know those were an investment. I didn't treat myself in a dedicated shoe purchase in a long ass time and I was planning and gearing myself towards this purchase. Let me know what shoe was your favorite. Don't forget to subscribe. If you haven't, give me a thumbs up. Uh, let me know down in the comment section below which shoe was your favorite and why until next time i'm gonna love and leave you and i'll see all of your beautiful faces on the next one bye